It's Jason here, Music Software Training. Going to show you a little stuttering tip that you can get by tweaking your warp settings. And let's get right down to it. So right, what I got here is, it's not really a loop. I just kind of cut a little part just for this example. But you'll get an idea of how this, this works. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. Okay, so we want to uh, chop that up and be able to play with it. So what you want to do is uh, come in. First, you want to make sure that warp is on. And um, you don't have to do a bunch of warping to it, but you just need to make sure the warp is on. It'll set a warp marker and pretty much keep everything uh, generally the same. Unless you want to warp it and, and you've got a loop going, then obviously you want to lock it to tempo. and That's cool, too. Next thing you want to do is make sure that your warp setting is set to beats. And this right here, you want to set to just the one arrow here, the, the top choice. And then you want to switch from transient to one of these resolutions here. And let's just go with 1 16th here. And I'll show you how this works. So basically, this uh, 100 can go from 0 to 100. And what this is going to do, it's going to adjust the amount of sound coming through for each cut. So let me show you what happens here. So right now, you just got a very slight, very slight sound here. And as I turn it up, Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and try uh, one eighth. I think this sounds pretty cool too. And I'm not sure if this can be uh, assigned to. Uh, MIDI knob or something. Let me go up here to MIDI. Yeah, it doesn't look like it can. So if you wanted to kind of automate or do whatever, what you would have to do to get your cool sounds and whatever is just create another audio track. And then if you've got the solo, then you can just go to resample, which is what I'll do here. Otherwise, what you can do is you can go to your input and just uh, choose um, that your audio track. So in this case, it's uh, 36. So I would just come in here and go to 36 and then hit record. Then I can kind of stretch this out if this was a loop or something like that. And uh, just hit record and see what happens. You get the idea. Then as you can see, you've got your edited chopped up part, which is good fun. So just a quick little tip that you can do with your warp settings to create little stutters.